Today we're going to be discussing the problem with the Oneida supercell, and there was only one problem, and that problem's been solved. Uh, the Oneida supercell has a magnetic switch, and the way magnetic switches work, if the power goes out and then comes back on, your machine doesn't automatically come back on until you go hit the button and reset the switch. So if you're using the IVAC controls throughout your dust collection system, normally that turns the uh, dust collector on and off. And when, they, when I bought the new uh, supercell, it had a magnetic switch and I no longer could use the IVAC controllers and products. Uh, that problem has been solved. IVAC came up with a great solution and I'm going to go in and explain that to you and uh, enjoy and watch to the end. I'll give you some release dates when the stuff's coming out. And if you are enjoying the videos, if you could please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps us out as far as getting the video out there to more people. And I appreciate it. Well, finally a problem solved. Our Unita, Unita system here, probably one of the best dust collectors I've seen for a small shop or even a bigger shop. Uh, it absolutely keeps everything clean. You don't get all that little fine dust everywhere. But it has a magnetic switch. And the magnetic switch has been the problem because if you use the IVAC uh, remote control on all of your tools, which turns on the dust collector and turns it off when you turn on the tool, well, with the magnetic switch, you lose that ability. And what we're here today is to see a solution for the problem that is so unbelievably simple. Uh, thanks to IVAC, the problem has been solved. And we'll show you exactly what they did. So this is the unit right here. It's the IVAC MSC Advantage RC. Uh, this unit right here controls the IVAC uh, switches. And to control your uh, Oneida supercell, normally you have a little remote, but this acts as a remote. I can turn it on. I can turn it off. Well, this hooks into the bottom of this. And this has Velcro on here. So you can just Velcro it and you just hang this up. Plug this in, and now you've got a bridge between the Oneida supercell, this remote controls the supercell, the units for each of your tools goes through here, and then goes over to your switch. And that's how you solve the problem of the magnetic switch on the supercell. There's no wiring required on a supercell, because this is actually acting just like the remote, and this remote is controlled just like you were pressing button C or D on here. Uh, this is doing it for you based on your tool. And so the, the way this controls everything, you have the IVAC Tool Plus. That's your normal unit. And this goes, the cord goes down through here, the electrical cord to your table saw or your... Uh, CNC machine or your bandsaw and when it gets current going through there then it triggers this which then triggers the switch. In the case of the new one it's going to trigger the uh, unit I just showed you and then that'll turn on the um, Oneida supercell. But even though this says iPro Tool Plus this is a prototype as well and the new one's called the IVAC Pro Tool Advantage because you got this little slot on the side. And what plugs into there is a cable. And the other end of this, uh, you can plug this in to your computer uh, on your CNC. And if you can program that through the program to send five volts to this, it'll trigger it. And same way with the uh, if you have a way of going, like on the, I have the uh, Avid CNC, I can probably go to my uh, breakout board and put it on the pins to send a signal with five volts. 
to turn on and off the uh, supercell via software in my G-code. So this is going to be a very good thing to have for somebody that wants to control it through their software for their CNC. But it also works just like a normal Tool Plus as well. You know, you got your auto on and off. When you are in this mode, you got to be in the off position because the five volts to this will turn it on or off to control your unit. So I got it hung up on the wall. It's plugged in. So when I start my miter saw, you'll see that the lights will be triggered and it'll turn on. And then it'll turn it off and I'm done. I got it programmed to run five seconds after I shut it off. So just now, every time I go to my miter saw, I'm always going to have the shop vac turned on and I'm not going to forget. I'll show you a little clip when I was doing a demo on the CNC. I forgot to turn on the shop vac and for a second I had dust everywhere. But this just makes that whole thing work flawlessly and they couldn't have done it. I, I'm sure it was a lot of work to get it to that point, but it's such a simple solution. Uh, I don't know why somebody hadn't thought about it beforehand, but IVAC did. Turn it on. And then it runs for five more seconds. Just that easy. So I don't have to use these little remotes that I was using before. You know, I had to have these by each tool. Now I don't have to do that. So great little uh, thing from IVAC and they should be congratulated. So IVAC had provided the unit that uh, you've seen here in the video and they are in production currently and they told me that they would have those out uh, probably about mid-July. So, you know, you can contact them. Maybe they'll have a waiting list uh, or they'll just let you know when they are going to get them in. But it's like within a month or so they'll have them. A very, very easy solution. Um, I appreciate you watching till the end. And once again, if you'd like to like it and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And see you next time.